to uh, start with, I think this, uh, you know, excellent characterization you, you gave and made of fluid multilateralism. Uh, it's, it's catchy, it, you know, it, it's worthy of Goldman Sachs. Uh, it's, uh, you know, and I think it, it's certainly something which is, uh, you, you know, which is very important if we look around and see how others are moving. The challenge there, of course, is that when, uh, I, I suspect there are two sets of challenges. One, of course we can live with differences, but what happens when in some ways the differences uh, impinge upon further cooperation? Um, you know, so for example, uh, one country being sanctioned, for example, you know, how is that likely to affect your relations with others? So that's one dimension of, of, of that as well. Um, and, and I think one that, you know, perhaps we need to see how we might uh, explore it at, at, at some point. Second is, uh, as you very rightly pointed out, you know, when you look at the new development bank, uh, of, I, I, again, I think it's very commendable to actually have a variety of views at a time where, you know, people are really still thinking through global norms and institutions. But at the same time, when it actually does come together, then it becomes a more formidable contribution. I, I hesitate to use the word force, but, you know, something significant that uh, everybody can sort of look at in the global uh, architecture. So in, in that sense, while uh, vive la France, uh, I think there's a lot to be said for, you know, uh, the institutions uh, moving forward and having some kind of common perspective as well. So. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, the, the remark about sanctions is an easy one to respond to, I have to say. I think the one position that all five BRICS members share, and certainly we as India are committed to, is that we don't accept sanctions which are not, which are not mandated by the United Nations. Therefore, sanctions which emerge from particular bilateral relationships or which emerge from groups to which we are not party are not sanctions that we accept. And I think that is something certainly that all BRICS members are, have, have a shared position on. So that's a relatively easy one to deal with. Now, the fact remains, that having been said, the fact remains that the global, shall we say, economic order nonetheless does have to deal with the impact of sanctions which may not be uh, mandated by the United Nations. So that is a factual issue that we all deal with, which our national institutions must deal with and work within. But on the principle, I think we are all five BRICS members of one mind that sanctions which do not have the force of international law are not mandated and therefore we don't abide by them. On the issue of norms being developed and the effect of the NDB, in fact I will uh, I, I will elaborate on the point I made. When India proposed a BRICS development bank, it emerged from, at least in part, our belief that the Bretton Woods institutions do not reflect the, 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 uh, the contemporary reality and the continuing inability of governance reform within the Bretton Woods institutions has sharpened the, uh, ha have sharply focused on this problem. And this is, I believe, one of the reasons why, in fact, the BRICS came together fairly rapidly to an agreement in Fortaleza last year to establish the bank and proceed. It really took two years of, of preparatory work for this agreement to come about. 
And, and the timeline is that by this time next year, by the next BRICS summit, it will be up and running. So the fact that it is possible to create an institution which is, which is better reflective of contemporary reality, where, where I won't say it is total equity, but, but where, which is certainly better reflective of the current situation and the current scenario, it is in itself, a, to my mind, a normative step forward. And I would like to underline that as a very major contribution made by this group. It is also interesting that, in fact, the, uh, the, the commentaries on this have been generally positive. The international commentary on the bank has been generally a, of a positive character. I think that that's a significant, uh, that, that, that is significant. Uh, thank you.